Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today I have a really great video for you. It's part of a playlist. I'll get into that in just a bit. DIY number one. I'm taking this mineral paint and white paint from Waverly and I painted the word welcome and this blank I got from Michaels. Now I'm taking my new IOD transfer, rub-on transfers, and I am just trying to pick out a few pieces to add to this sign. These are the new transfers. They're absolutely beautiful. The set is called Whispering Willows. So I am just, like I said, trying to find the perfect uh, pieces to put on this sign. And so all of these projects today are for my niece who recently moved into her first house. So I wanted to do something for her and it's mostly it's not a log cabin but it's kind of a cabin it looks like a cabin anyways it's got lots of wood features so she wanted a woodland kind of um motif if you will <laughs> so um i am doing my best with that i've never done any kind of woodland stuff so but i thought that these mushrooms would be absolutely perfect for that um, at least my uh, vision of woodland <laughs> would consist of some mushrooms right i mean you find those out in the woods right i don't know anyway so i am just using my little scraper tool thing that comes with the transfers. I transferred the one mushroom and now I'm going to add this second one before I move on to the beautiful leaf and flower uh, transfer that also came in this set. Look at how beautiful that flower is. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. So I am taking a resin. I got some of the that casting resin and it dries white. And so, and it dries really quick, like an hour you can demold it. But these I made a long time ago and this is a bird and I did the silver and then over the silver i'm doing some of the i believe it's the antique gold um and just kind of going over it quickly um not covering it completely then i'm just going to measure so that i get it in the center and i'm hot gluing the bird right to the center of the top of the picture and that's it for this one i think it's so beautiful i love it so so much so if she doesn't like it i'll keep it <laughs> i'm sure she'll love it though but let me know what you guys think of this one So this video is part of the What Would You Make open playlist. It's hosted by Zaina at OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. And this month, their guest host is the one and only Lini from Crafty Lini. I love all these ladies so, so much. I will have their channel links as well as the playlist in my description box down below. Once you're done with my video, head on over to the playlist. You're going to love it. Now on to DIY number two. So I have this cornstarch and some new 
molds, IOD molds. And I get my IOD molds and transfers as well as rice paper from my Victorian heart. I will have her site linked down below. I'm in no way affiliated, but I just love her and I love all of her products. So I am trying my hand at um, the air dry clay again. Um, and <laughs> again, I wasn't too successful. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but anyway, um, I had some of the IOD clay sent to me and so I wanted to try it again. Now it wasn't as horrible as the other clay I've tried but um, I don't know I guess I just like doing the resin better. It's just I don't know I don't know I'll keep trying eventually you know maybe I'll get the hang of it I don't know but for now um, I made these butterflies and I made a dragonfly um, and they came out, I mean, they came out okay. Well, the butterflies did anyway. <laughs> uh, the dragonfly had a terrible accident with one of his wings, but anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here you can see I am taking them out of the mold and I don't know if I didn't put enough cornstarch or if I didn't wait long enough um, but anyway um, yeah I mean they came out fairly easy but I still just like the resin and there's that poor little dragonfly's wing <laughs> he didn't make it guys I'm sorry he didn't make it a moment of silence okay um, I tried to put them back together and I smushed the wings. So that was the end of that. <laughs> oh my good grief. So, yeah, I put it, I put it back. I said, forget it. So, but I do have these three beautiful butterflies. And like I said, I will keep trying if at first you don't succeed, right? So here's some more of that casting resin. This is the last of the resin that I have. So I used it and I just made a bunch of different molds. Um, I will link the names or I'll link the molds. I'll list the names of the molds down below in my description box because I don't remember off the top of my head. I know that there are some fairy doors you can see right there. I didn't use the sunflower. Um, I used, I think I used some of the butterflies and just some um, like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like edging details, like corner pieces and that kind of stuff so anyway um you can see here it's kind of a brown it's very liquidy um not like regular resin it's kind of gets thick this doesn't but it cures quick so you gotta work quick <laughs> i learned that the hard way i made a whole big cup the last time I used these around Christmas and it ended up curing in the cup before I could even use it so just go quick with it but anyway so I made two cups full and I just made a bunch of molds I'll have um you know I'll have a bunch to use um for future projects so anyway there you go. Yep, see, I'm doing the butterflies now, too. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Um, yeah. I, I totally prefer the resin to the clay, but I know some people who really like the clay better. Now, with this resin, you can demold it, like, it says 60 minutes after you pour it 
um, you can take it out of the molds. And when you do that, they're still a little flexible. So if you were to try to put it on something curved, you know, like a glass or something, you would be able to because they're still pliable for a little bit. They don't like completely cure for, I don't know, I think it's 24 hours, but I'm not positive, so don't quote me on that. But I got these really cool keys and there are like locks with the little keyholes and like they're actual like holes, as long as you don't overfill it, like I did one of them. But anyway, <laughs> I'm talking way too much, but um, yeah, I told you a few videos ago that um, where a lot of us are having issues with the music. So I've just decided that I'm not using it anymore. So you get to hear me instead. <laughs> okay, so I put all of those aside and I picked out some more transfers. And now I'm going to use antique wax and plaster on this wood blank from Michaels. And then I had another bird. I used the agave and then some white wax on it. That just went way too fast for me. But anyway, so it's all dry. And now I'm taking the transfer and I am adding it to this wood blank. If you can't see it very well, it is a tree stump. Um, yeah, so I scraped it all off and then I just took the backing, the carrier sheet and um, just rubbed it all over it to just make sure it was set good. And then I put the body <laughs> and the two flowers and did the same process. And then I did another mushroom and a bird. Now this bird came from a different transfer set but it worked anyway. So um, there's the bird that I used the agave. And now I'm just taking one of the butterflies and a dragonfly out of this set. I'm using pink sky, dusk, sandstone, and rich black on the butterfly and the um, dragonfly. And then the black I just used for the bird's eyeball. Now I'm taking some wood glue and some hot glue and I'm going to adhere the bird and the dragonfly and butterfly to this blank as well. Once those are all stuck down, I'm just gonna flip it over and I have a um, hanger and I'm just going to add that as close to the center of the back of this um, picture um, as I can. So it comes with some screws. I'm just gonna screw them in and yeah, that's all there is for this one but i think it's so adorable i absolutely love this piece i think it's so sweet those the bird is so beautiful and look at the little butterfly see the resin just works so much better i don't know it's just me i guess i don't know let me know do you guys like the resin or the clay better if you're crafters um but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this one. So I wanted to let you know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I have a buy me a coffee page if you wanted to support my channel that way. But either way, stop on by my social medias and say hi. I'd love to hear from you. 
And I want to wish Liz Sanabria a very happy birthday. I did it yesterday in my video accidentally, but today is actually her birthday. So she's very sweet. She's been very supportive since the very beginning. And yeah, so happy birthday, Liz. Okay, DIY number three. I have these two wooden crates from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting them in my Mineral Waverly chalk paint and I just did one coat on three sides and the bottom. Now I have one of these fairy doors and I used antique wax, truffle, and sandstone and then this, I started out with the copper but I changed it to the antique gold and I just painted that little fairy door. I used wood glue and hot glue to glue the two crates together and now I'm using wood glue and hot glue to add the little fairy door to the front of the crates. How stinking cute is that door? There's so much detail, you'll see it better in a little bit when I do the reveal. But anyways, I'm taking this floral foam from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to uh, chop it in half and then I cut that half in half and I'm gonna hot glue a piece to each of the bottoms of the crates. And then once that is done, what am I going to do? Oh, okay. So <laughs> I take some of this moss I got from Michael's. It's a huge bag. Not Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Sorry. It's a huge bag. And I'm just adding to the sides right now to cover like where the holes are. I don't want you to see the green floral foam. So I have that eucalyptus from Timu and then the purple flowers that are my favorite from Dollar Tree. Those other purple flowers are from Michaels as well as these white like fluffy flowers. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, I'm gonna take, um, how many pieces do I use? Uh, I think I use 10 pieces of the eucalyptus. I'm gonna line the back of the crates and then I just had that one extra so I kind of stuck it in there and now I'm just going to add all of the florals that I have um, that I cut off of the picks or the bouquets or stems whatever you want to call it <laughs> and I'm just you know whatever I do on one side I do on the other side um, just to try to keep the uh, arrangement um, cohesive, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. But anyway, <laughs> and now I'm going to take more of that moss and I'm just going to fill in the front. And I do put a little bit in between some of the stems where you could still see the floral foam. Now. I'm taking some of my little embellishments. I have some ladybugs. I have those mini birds that I got from Amazon and those beautiful purple butterflies that I also got from Amazon. Come to think of it, I got the butter ah uh, the ladybugs from Amazon as well before I found them at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to hot glue this butterfly right on this puffy flower. I don't know what it's called. If you know, let me know in the comments. And then I'm just going to add one of the little birds to one side of the crate. And then I'm going to scatter the ladybugs on the crates and some of the flowers. And just, I'm just going to have fun with the little ladybugs. And I I think I put, I don't know, maybe six or seven. I don't know. I, I didn't count, honestly. <laughs> so, um, 
and I even put a couple on the leaves of the eucalyptus. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness sakes. <laughs> I think they're super adorable. But I'm probably just biased. I hope my niece likes these. I, I think she will. Um, she'll see them when you guys see them because I didn't send her pictures. So, uh, you guys just let her know how wonderful her aunt is, huh? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. She knows she's my goddaughter. But anyway, here it is. Look at that door, you guys. Like, really, the, the wood around the door, that's the antique wax. It really makes it look like wood. The detail in these molds are incredible. So anyway, I think it came out so beautiful. I love this one so, so much. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So I want to thank Zaina and Connie and Lini for hosting this awesome playlist. I love this playlist so much. I'm so glad I was able to participate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.